Hello, Internet. Today I am following along my bookkeeping theme. Yesterday we chatted about how to manage your receipts, how to make sure that you get them digitized and in all in one place. Now that we have an understanding of how to manage those receipts, we need to know how to categorize them. How do we categorize expenses? So I like to start by just writing a list of, now this is to start if you, uh, if you don't have um, an accounting software with a listing of categories or expense accounts that you like, or if you're just starting out brand new, this is a great way to start. So start by making a list of all the things that you spend money on in a month and how much you spend on that. So maybe it's QuickBooks, I spend uh, $20. Telephone, I spend $50 or whatever it is. So just make your list of all those things and how much you spend on per month. Look at your list once you're all done and try to group them into what makes sense for you in terms of like buckets. So maybe a telephone and QuickBooks, maybe you decide, oh, well, those are both office expenses, so those are gonna go together in office expenses. That makes sense to me. Try to keep uh, your categories not too big, so you don't wanna have like a lot of expenses that make a huge dollar amount in one account. So if, you know, telephone and accounting software and internet and like all these things going to office expenses, it starts to become less useful because the bucket's too big. Like it's hard to know what makes up that number. So maybe instead you would want to break it into telephone as its own thing and maybe you have like a software and apps expense account. So your accounting software might go in there and maybe you have like a CRM app or something like that. Or maybe you decide CRM belongs in advertising and promotion. Whatever makes sense to you, however you think about your business and why you spent money on the thing that you did. Uh, so create your own labels for these categories. It doesn't matter what you call them really. It matters that it makes sense to you. Um, the only one that matters is meals and entertainment because those are only 50% deductible for tax purposes. So anytime that you go out for a meal or you take people to like, yeah, let's stick with that. Meals and entertainment, you're entertaining clients, you've taken them for a meal, that kind of thing. Uh, okay, so we've got our listing and we've got our groupings and we have some loose categories that we're gonna use. Um, use these categories as your expense accounts in your accounting software. As you're doing this, make sure that you write a little note next to each of them to sort of define your categories because I have definitely done this, where I do something for a month, I do it one month, and then I don't do it again for another month, and I'm like, what was I doing? What goes in this account again? So make sure that you write a little note to remind yourself, because bookkeeping is really only useful if it's consistent. So we have the same kinds of expenses going into the same account every month. Uh, if you put telephone into telephone one month and then throw it into office the next month, then telephone isn't really a true representation of what you spent uh, on your telephone bill. And office kind of gets um, cluttered or uh, difficult to look at as well because it's, sometimes it's telephone, sometimes it's not. So just make a choice and stick to it. Uh, one last thing I wanna leave you with is if you spend more than about $500, ish on something that you don't sell in the normal course of business, then it's you should probably capitalize it. I'm not gonna go into what that is today, that's a story for another video, but uh, just keep in mind that that might not be something that you wanna expense, it might be something you have to capitalize. If you would like to chat about your expense categories or capitalizing assets, I would love to chat with you about it. I have left my book a call link in the description, which will be somewhere. And uh, I'd love to chat with you. It's a free call. 
and that you can get your questions answered. Until then, I will see you tomorrow.